to you as an assignment so that you can read it by yourself. Okay? I will give you three examples. And this will be the last one. Okay? There will be another one which is the flow of immiscible liquid. That would be written in the textbook. Please go back and read the textbook. Try to do it by yourself. Okay? If you did that, you see that in the textbook, the, the procedure that they are represented in the textbook is not really in detail. You still need to work it by your own and compare the, the result. All right? Now, for today's example, um, let's go back to our, our class on Wednesday. On Wednesday, we have a circular pipe and there's a liquid flowing downward, okay? Flowing downward and we derive the velocity profile. And during the, the time, we set up the equation of the shear balance and the result would give you something like this initially. Now let me ask you the first question here. If the flow is not going down, if the flow is going upward, can we still use the same equation? Do you really need to repeat everything? Can we just pick this equation up and rework? From the example last Wednesday, if the flow is reversed, on Wednesday the flow is going down, right? If I set up the flow going up, can I still use this equation? So if the flow is going up, normally our, our normal rule would say we will use the cylindrical coordinate and we will point one direction along the flow, okay? So our um, axis should go something like this. Earlier, our last example, the z-axis is pointing down along the flow. This one is pointing up along the flow as well. So can we use this equation? Yes? No. Why not? Okay. Can these two terms, I mean, the terms here and terms there remains the same? In terms of input and output, do you think the terms will be the same? Yes. It's supposed to be the same. If you're trying to see momentum or if you define the shell first, the shell should look something like a cylindrical shell, right? The same shell. Just reverse the direction does not impact on the shell shape at all. So once the, sh the shape of the shell are the same, then the equation regarding input and, in and output is supposed to be the same as well. The only difference in this case would be direction of gravity relative to direction of z-axis. In our last example, z-axis is pointing down. So therefore, gravity is pointing along z-axis. But in this example, z-axis is pointing up, whereas the gravity is pointing down. So in this case, gravity would be negative. Okay? So we will put negative g here. Just because gravity is going in opposite direction comparing to our axis. All right? Second thing is, this is our example for today. Suppose the tube itself is not empty tube if there is another tube located in the middle. So there will be another tube here. So you have two tubes uh, aligned along the same axis. The area that the flow of our interest 
is flowing is this circular area. Okay? The setting up here is this very popular setup that we call a double pipe. A double pipe will be later used as our heat exchanger. So suppose you have fluid which is hot flowing inside the inner pipe and we have another fluid which is lower in temperature flowing outside this inner pipe. So there will be an exchange in energy. There will be heat exchange. Okay? The fluid inside the pipe would transfer energy toward the outside and the, the fluid outside will receive energy and temperature would rise up. This is what we call heat exchanger without mixing the fluid at all. Heat exchanger, you will learn about heat exchanger in unit operation 3. Okay, but before going into that, I'd like you to at least concern about velocity profile in case of the fluid flowing in this part. This part, by the way, is called annular. It's annular part. So there's two areas inside the inner tube. This one is circular, circular area. And then outside this inner tube, this is called annular. So sometimes we call this one annular flow. Okay? Now, suppose I consider annular flow like this. Flow is going up. What does my shell look like? What does the shell look like? Does the shell supposed to be the same as our last example? If you're not sure, try to identify velocity first. In this example, the flow is going upward. We point Z direction going upward and the velocity is supposed to have three components. Vr, V zeta, Vz. We for sure, Vc is not zero. V zeta is zero, right? That's for sure. This one becomes zero. How about Vr? The presence of the inner pipe there, does it affect velocity in our direction? Does it cause Vr? No. So VR is still zero. Okay? We have VZ only, and VC is function of what? R theta Z. For sure, it's not function of theta because the pipe is located right in the center. So it's not function of theta at all. Is it function of Z? No, because we neglect acceleration. So here, this one will be dropped. It's zero, zero. It's a function of R. We can see clearly that the velocity in Z direction is function of R, simply because if you look into plane where C is constant, at this position, velocity is supposed to be zero because this one is located at the interface between fluid and liquid. I'm sorry, fluid and solid. This one's supposed to be zero as well. But in the, some, somewhere in the middle, they're supposed to be flowing upward like this. So this would be Vz, which can be, can be seen that it is a vary with respect to r. So Vc is function of r. So if you can determine velocity component like this, you see that the components depends exactly the same in the same manner as what we derived in the last example. So therefore, the looks of the shell is supposed to be the same. Okay? So our shell would be something like this. This is delta R. If the shell looks the same, 
the term input and output supposed to be the same as well okay so input output remains the same gravity force right now going against the z direction so therefore this one supposed to be minus g this equation can be used for our example here can you see that all right so the next step would be the further derivation of this um, equation. Now, is this, are these two terms cancelled? Yes, because velocity vz is not function of z, so therefore they are equal. Is this pressure the same? Now we're flowing upward, not downward anymore. Are they the same? <laughs> Are they necessarily the same? No. They might be the same. They might not be the same, right? So in general, they are not the same. These two terms must be kept. These two terms must be kept as well, okay? Oh, by the way, let me ask you this first. Suppose I have the system like this. Just for practice, okay? Similar setup. If our inner pipe here has a fin like this do you think that we will only have VZ in our system if there is a fin how many components of velocity do we have Do we have, for sure we have VZ, right? Do we have VR? Possibly. <laughs> Do we have V theta? Again, this piece of solid going along the direction of the flow in Z direction. How can it disturb the flow so that the flow can go in our direction? Can it disturb the flow such that the flow deviated to go in our direction? What about if the center here is something like this? If there is a ring, a plate that goes perpendicular to this flow, do we have VR? Yes. In this case, the flow here going in this direction, right? So there will be VR. Do we have V theta? Yes. 